Hey everyone, this is Norris Tony coming back to y'all with another video. I'm going to read from my prayer book, Walk in Faith. I'm going to read a Bible verse, then I'm going to read a prayer. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebu rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. This is from the book of Proverbs, chapter eight or chapter nine, verse eight. Here's the prayer. When a fish tries to swim against the current, it feels the power of resistance. Keep it from getting to where it needs to go. When I resist God's will and rely on myself, I swim against the stream and life is harder. I experience more fear, doubt, and misery. Faith allows me to adjust my direction and go with the flow of life in God's guidance. Faith lets me relax knowing I am going where I need to be. Okay, I'm gonna read an article. Okay. It's from optum.com. It's called A Beginner's Guide to Meditation and How to Properly Meditate. Meditation is great for your body and your mind. Here's what to know to get started. You might feel like you have too much on your plate, whether it's your job, relationships, work, or health. It may seem like there's no time to relax. That can cause you to worry and be stressed out. You may even lose sleep over it. But did you know that you have the power to find calm? And that has been right here all along. One of the easiest ways to find that inner calm is through a practice called meditation. Meditation is a way to make you feel calm and quiet. It helps you train your mind to slow down and relax. And while it may be timed, there is no set limit. So you can do it for five minutes or an hour or even more. But even just a few minutes can make you feel better. Here's what to know and how to get started. What's the difference between mindfulness and meditation? Let's start with the big picture. Mindfulness is your ability to focus on what's happening right now. When you're being mindful, you're aware of what's going on in your body and around you, and you observe these moments without judging yourself. Meditation, on the other hand, is a practice that aims to increase your concentration and awareness. You might do it while sitting or laying down in a quiet space. The big difference, you don't have to pra practice mindfulness in the same way you do meditation. You can include it what, whatever you're doing during the day. That could be walking, running, or even eating. You can also be mindful while talking to a friend or a neighbor. You usually don't talk while you're meditating. Some doctors may even suggest meditation as a way to help cope with stress and other mental health issues. For example, it may be used to help people de-stress who have long-term diseases like cancer or diabetes. It's simple to make meditation a part of your, of your daily life, says Bonnie Carpenter, ED or ED. She's a psychiatrist a psychiatrist in Philadelphia. That could be an e it that could be as easy as looking out your window and noticing what's going on for a few minutes. Or it can be taking time to sit or lie down. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. That could be for however long or short you like. It doesn't matter if you do it at the same time, in the same place, or the same way each time, as long as you make a space for meditation in your life, Carpenter says. 
You can do it lots of different ways. You can focus on a single word or sentence that makes you feel more relaxed. You can think about a picture or a sound that helps you calm down. Or you can just notice your breath as the air flows in and out of your body. First, you can learn how to meditate by following three easy steps, then learn three ways it can be good for your health. How do I meditate? You might think that meditation is the same as praying, but there's a difference. When you're meditating, you're not trying to connect to a higher power. You're simply being patient. How do you do that? First, it's helpful to find a quiet spot to meditate. You can certainly do it seated or laying down, but there isn't a right way to do it. For example, you can do a walk-in meditation, relax and settle in for a few minutes or however long is good for you. One of the easiest ways to meditate is to pause and focus on your breath. For this type of meditation, try these steps. Step one, sit or lie down in a quiet place. Close your eyes and take, step two, close your eyes and take deep, slow breaths. Focus on bringing your breath in, then blowing it out. Step three, when thoughts come into your mind, notice them. You can picture them as clouds or balloons floating away. Each time you, your mind starts to wander, and it will gently bring yourself back to your breath. Breath is used as an anchor to come back to the moment, the, the now, says Donna Rockwell, Physic D. She's a psychiatrist in private practice in New York and Michigan. Keep going for as long as you like. You can even try a guide, guided meditation. You can find them online or a smartphone app. There are many to choose from. How often should I meditate? You can try to practice meditation daily. That's the key to getting the most out of it, says Rockwell. It's all about creating a routine. But if you don't have time to meditate, but if you don't have time to meditate daily, that's okay. Just do it as often as you can. One way to make it a habit is to tie it to something you already do. For example, if you're alone, you can take five minutes on the couch or at your desk to close your eyes and focus on your breath. Notice your thoughts and let them go. That too is meditation. Your cue can be anything that helps remind you to take a breath, says Carpenter. It should make you calmer and more focused. Three ways meditation can be good for your health. Now that you've learned about how to meditate, what it can do for you, it can be good for your health. Here are three ways. Number one, meditation can lower your stress. Your brain and central nervous system are in charge of everything you do. Those are the millions of tiny nerve cells that send your body messages. They tell you what you need to do and when you need to do it. One of your nervous system's most important tasks, regulating your fight or flight response. That's your reaction when something scary happens. If a big dog attacks, you can either fight it off or run away. You need your fight or flight response to stay safe and out of danger. When that happens, your heart rate and blood pressure go way up. Your muscles get tense and ready to move. Your body reacts the same way to emotional stress. If you have an argument with a friend, their response can kick in the same way. And if you're stressed out for too long, it can lead to health problems. Constant stress may play a part in risk for high blood pressure, heart attack, and stroke. Meditation may help slow down your body's stress response. It uses the part of your nervous system that relaxes you. The antidote to stress is to train our minds to return to the present moment, Rockwell says. That's what meditation is all about. 
Number two, meditation can help you think more clearly. Let's say you're working on five different tasks at work. Then your boss calls. You might feel a little overwhelmed. That's where meditation can help. An important benefit of meditation is the ability to clear and focus your mind, says Carpenter. When you meditate, you focus on the now. You may think about the past or the future, but you let those thoughts go and you always return to the now. Focusing on the moment can help you in lots of ways. For example, it can help you concentrate on the job you're working on. That in turn can help you do it better. It can also help you listen carefully to your friends and loved ones that can make your relationships better. Number three, meditation can help you, can help make you healthier. Meditation. Meditation can do a lot than just lower stress, according to the National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health. Meditation may also ease anxiety and depression, lower symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD, help you heal from substance use disorders, help you sleep better, improve mental health for those with breast cancer. Research shows that meditation may help lower your blood pressure, and it may also help ease long-lasting pain and help people cope with eating disorders. Bottom line, meditation can be a fun and easy way to get healthier, and all you need to do is breathe. Really, that's it. Okay, and that's the end of the article. Wait, hold on. Let me read this last part. Find mental health resources that fit your that fit with your life. Talk to a virtual coach or therapist from able to find support. Okay, now that's the end of the article. Um, I want to let you all know I'm gonna put the link to this article in the description box below. So if you all want to read this article, check it out, look at it then the link to the article will be in the description box. You can just click on it and it'll take you right to the website and right to the article. So until then, I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Thanks for watching and you all have a good night. Peace.